Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So let's get going. Problem solve xy minus dy by dx equals to y cube into e power minus x square. Solution given differential equation. xy minus dy by dx equals to y cube e power minus x square, right? You can just write this as minus dy by dx plus xy equals to y cube e power minus x square. We'll make the equation of dy by dx to plus one. For that purpose, what we'll do is we'll simply multiply both sides of the equation with minus. Then we'll get dy by dx minus xy equals to minus y cube into e power minus x square. Right? Now, we can say that this is in Bernoulli's form. Compare these two equations, then we'll get p and q, where which is Bernoulli's equation, right? dy by dx plus function of x into function of y equals to function of y into function of x. Or you can write this as dy by dx minus x into y equals to function of x into function of y. Right? Now it's clear. Just Bernoulli is in y. y and x. So here we'll get p and q by comparing these two equations p, q and n. Where P equals to minus x, q equals to function of x, right? Minus e power minus x square. So now, we need to find n. For that purpose, complete, compare y, q with y power n, then you'll get n equals to 3. See here, P and Q are either functions of X alone or constants. And N is a real number such that N not equals to 0 and N not equals to 1. Right now, what we'll do is we'll simply reduce this Bernoulli's equation to linear form. We know that the standard form of linear equation in Y is given by dy by dx plus P y equals to Q where P and Q are either functions of X alone or constant. If you notice, in the RHS you have Q, it must be either function of X or constant. But you don't have any function of Y in RHS part of linear equation in Y. Right? But coming to this Bernoulli's equation, we have a function of Y here in RHS. So what we'll do is we'll eliminate Y cube from this equation, that is from RHS part of this equation, to reduce Bernoulli's equation to linear form. So how we can eliminate y cube from RHS of this equation? Simply by bringing y cube to LHS part. This is into a okay? Or by multiplying both sides of the equation with 1 by y cube. Or by dividing both sides of the equation with y cube. Okay. So let's simply carry this y cube to LHS. Then you'll get... 1 by y cube times dy by dx minus x into y equals to minus e power minus x square. Then we'll get 1 by y cube into dy by dx minus xy by 
y cube equals to minus e power minus x square. From this we will get 1 by y cube into dy by dx minus x into here 1 y gets cancelled. So we will get 1 by y square equals to minus e power x square. So here y square sorry y cube got eliminated that is function of y got eliminated from RHS part. Now what we'll do is we'll make a substitution. Let the reduced equation is since instead of doing all this process we can write the direct step. Okay. The reduced equation is 1 by y cube into dy by dx minus x into 1 by y square equals to minus e power minus x square. Now let 1 by y square equals to u. Differentiate on both sides with respect to x. So here we will use chain rule to differentiate this with respect to x. Chain rule du by dx equals to c here. We are having a function of y, right? So it involves a differential dy in between. Now find derivative of u with respect to y. Since u equals to 1 by y square, or you can just write this as u equals to 1 by y square can be written as y power minus 2. Since y power minus n equals to 1 by y power n. Right? Now, find derivative of u with respect to y. dy dy of u equals to dy dy of y power minus 2. From this we will get du by dy equals to derivative of y power minus 2 with respect to y is minus 2 into y power minus 2 minus 1 which is equal to minus 2 into y power minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 right again replace y power minus n by 1 by y power n then we will get du that is derivative of u with respect to y equals to minus 2 into 1 by y cube which is minus 2 y y cube. Now let's replace derivative of u with respect to y with minus 2 by y cube then we'll get minus 2 into sorry minus 2 by y cube into dy by dx. Okay. Now instead of doing this lengthy process we can just do directly find the derivative of this function with respect to y, then we will get this in the sense y power minus 2, right? Then you will get minus 2 y power minus 3 into right dy by dx equals to du by dx. From this we will get minus 2 into replace y power minus 3 by 1 by y cube. And remaining as this, then we'll get minus 2 by y cube into dy by dx equals to du by dx, right? We'll get the same thing. Now, coming to the first term, here you have plus 1 by y cube into dy by dx. So in order to replace this in terms of u and x, what we'll do? We'll just take this minus 2 to RHS, then you'll get 1 by y cube into dy by dx equals to minus 1 by 2 into du by dx. Right? So when 1 by y square equals to u, then
1 by y cube into dy by dx equals to minus 1 by 2 into du by dx. Now the other equation becomes minus 1 by 2 into du by dx minus x into replace 1 by y square by u equals to minus equal minus x square. So here we are having the equation of du by dx minus 1 by 2 in order to make this 2. 1, what we will do is multiply, we will multiply both sides of the equation with minus 2. Okay, we need a quotient of du by dx 1. For that purpose, we will multiply both sides of the equation with minus 2. Then we will get, I will show you by multiplying, okay. Instead of writing directly. becomes minus 2 into minus 1 is 2 by 2 into du by dx minus into minus plus 2x u equals to minus into minus plus 2 into e power minus x squared. Here 2 gets cancelled and you'll get du by dx plus 2x into u equals to 2 into e power minus x square, which is linear in u, right? du by dx plus some function in x into u equals to function in x. We know that the standard form of linear equation in u is du by dx plus p into u equals to q, where p and q are either function of x alone or constants, right? So, we have reduced the Bernoulli's equation to linear form. Linear in u, where p equals to 2x and q equals to 2 into e power minus x square, which are functions of x alone, since it does not involve any other function other than x. So, we call P and Q as a functions of X alone. Now, we need to find the general solution to the given equation. So, the general solution to the linear equation will be the general solution to the given equation. So, we will find the general solution to this, to this equation using general solution formula of this equation. That is linear equation. Okay. We have P and Q now find integrating factor. We know that the integrating factor of linear equation u is given by e power integral p into differential dx equals to e power integral for p equals to 2x. Write the constant outside the integral, which is equals to e power 2. Integral x dx is x squared by 2. Here x gets cancelled, and you'll get e power x squared as your integrating. Now we can find the general solution. The general solution to the given equation is u into integrating factor equals to integral q for q equals to e power minus x square into integrating factor into dx plus c that this constant outside the integral you'll get 2 integral e power minus x square into e power x square into dx plus c 
e power minus x square into e power x square is e power minus x square plus x square which is equal to e power 0 which is equal to 1, right? So, or we can write e power minus x square as 1 by e power x square that is reciprocal of e power x square. This one will be as it is and here e power x square gets cancelled and you will get 1. is 1 then you'll get equals to 2 into integral 1 dx is integral dx plus c since we know that integral dx is x then this becomes 2 into x plus c now we can replace u since u equals to 1 by y square Then the above equation becomes 1 by y square into e power x square equals to 2x plus c, which is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from Bernoulli's equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.